importing and exporting data. You can use the data you've saved in other programs with Microsoft Access 2013. In fact, you can use Access to combine data that was created in other programs, transfer data from one program to another, store data and have the ability to export it to Excel for analysis. In this lesson, we're going to learn the multiple ways that you can import and export data to and from Access. This will be very important to you as you start your database and need to transport data. We realised that some of this was covered in the last lesson, however, this lesson covers importing and exporting all data, not just data from reports. In other Microsoft Office programs, you can use Save As if you want to save a document in a different format. An example is saving a Microsoft Word program, which is .doc, as a rich text file RTF, or saving an Excel CSV file as a text file. However, Access is different, and you do not use a Save As feature in the same way. In Access, you can save objects as other objects. You can also save databases as early versions of databases, but you cannot save Access as a spreadsheet file or any other type of file. By the same token, you can't save a spreadsheet file as an Access database file. You can't do any of this using the Save As feature. Instead, you must go to the External Data tab. This is how you'll import and export data between other file formats. You'll see the External Data tab and the ribbon below it. Let's have a look at the External Data ribbon. These are all the data formats that Access can import and export. The Import and Link group shows data formats that Access can import from or even link to. The Export group shows all data formats that Access can export to. If you click More in either group, you can see additional formats. In this table here, we show you which formats can be imported, exported or linked to. In the first column, it shows the program or the format. The second column has a tick if it allows import, or some comments. The second column shows you if you can link to that file, by indicating a tick mark. And exporting, and exporting shows you if you can and exporting shows you if you can export to that file type. To import or link data in another format, you can follow these steps. First, open the database that you want to use. In this case, we have the book database open. Go to the external data tab. Click the type of data that you either want to import or link to. For this example, we're going to say Excel. You'll then see this window. Find the data file on your computer by clicking on the Browse button. Next, tell Access how and where you want to store the data in your database. We're going to import the source data into a new table. Click OK. You'll now see this window. Now tell Access if you want to use the first row as field headings and click Next. You can change the field options on this screen, such as data types to be stored and which fields can be skipped. If you don't want to change anything, you can click Next. In this window, you get to specify whether Access adds a primary key, if you do, or if you don't want to add a primary key at all. In this example, I'll select to choose my own primary key, which is ISBN. Click Next. Now you can specify a name for the table, and click Finish. Because we already have a books table, I'm going to call this New Books. Now click Finish. This window will appear. You can save the import steps again or just click on close. The new books table now appears in the table section on the navigation pane with your new data. When you want to export data, first open the database that you want to use. Next go to the navigation pane and select the object that you wish to export. You can export data from tables, queries, forms and report objects. In this example, we're going to export the books table. Go to the External Data tab again. Select the type of data you want to export to. We're going to choose Excel again, and we're going to export our books table. I've chosen a new name for the destination file. Then select a file format, such as the Excel Workbook.xlsx format. Then select the Export option. We've selected Export Data with Formatting and Layout. And to open the destination file when completed. Click on OK. Your file is then exported. Once again, you'll have a chance to save your steps. Your exported file should look like this. And that's how you export a file to the Excel format.